Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is for those who are following me on social media. I just want to get this message out that look, you know, religion is something very serious, I understand. Um, when you come to the Quran and Sunnah, these are very you know, serious things. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the Sahaba radiallahu anhu majma'in, they used to also have a normal life, okay? So, uh, you know, it's when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to be in the masjid and he used to give the, you know, he used to give the discourses that, that he would give, uh, sometimes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa look, this is a hadith of Bukhari, where, where Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu anhu, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to look at us and he would stop giving us a lecture or a reminder he would stop that out of the fear that we would get bored this is a hadith in bukhari by abdullah bin bin masud now subhanallah what are we saying here subhanallah you know this is the prophet Allah. how can anyone get bored of the prophet Allah? what does that mean Look, the, the meaning of this is that, the, you know, these were normal individuals. The Sahaba were normal individuals. Yes, they loved the Prophet Sallallahu They would never disrespect him. And they would love to hear him all day if they could. But they're humans at the end of the day. So they needed a break. And sometimes what he would do is that he would scan, he would always scan their faces and scan their eyes. And if he would see that they're getting a little bit tired or they might get tired, before they actually get tired, he would stop. This was his sunnah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then what would he do after that? The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the masjid with his sahaba, radiallahu anhu ajma'in, according to various narrations, he would say, oh, uh, how's the farming coming along, by the way? You know, he would break conversation about the dunya. So when they were sitting with him, listening about the Akhirah for, you know, for some time, he would break off talking to them about their dunya. Now, was that because he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was really interested in what's going on in the farming lands and what's happening in the dunya? No, it was for them. Because when he would ask them a question about the farming or about something else and break off about the dunya, he would actually ask them questions about what's going on in the dunya. Why? Because then they kind of feel, oh, this is something new. Uh, oh, he cares about our, our lives too. Our lives are not like his life. He cares about what's going on in our lives. Okay, let, let, let's talk about this. So he gives them a break. He gives them, uh, you know, the mind changes to something new. And they're able to engage with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in something about their lives. And that's very interesting. Look, he's taking interest in, in our lives. And he would talk about that. Why? Because then he would get their attention. And then they would come closer because, oh, you know what? He relates to us. He knows what's going on in our lives. See, that's something which is a unique sunnah. If a sheikh or a scholar was to sit in a masjid all day and just go on about hadith and Quran and hadith and Quran, look, people will respect him. But at the end of the day, people will switch off because there's just too much of religious stuff being said to them. And not all people, look, I know some of you are listening to this and say, no, no, I'm not like that. I want to, you know, learn Quran and Hadith all the time. Look, it's it's not like that. You know what? When Abdullah bin Masood, he went to, um, he went to, I think it was uh, Iraq. And the people over there, they heard him speak. They said, oh, Abdullah, they said, yeah, Abdullah, we would love to hear you every night give us a lecture. And Abdullah bin Masood, he said, he said, no, he said, I'll give it to you on Thursdays. He fixed a day on Thursday evening. He would give one lecture and that's it. That's all they would get. And people were thirsty for more. But why did Abdullah bin Masud do that? He told them, he said, this is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ did with us. Like he would give us religion, but then he would break off from it. He would be in a normal life with us. You know, there's so many things normal between us, apart from just talking about Quran and Hadith. Now look, on my social media, you know, you'll find 80% of the times you'll see, you know, religious things there, whether it's to do with Quran, Hadith, or some educational stuff, or something you're learning. 80% of the times you're going to get that. And about 20% of the times you're going to get these jokes and maybe a couple of pranks here and there, you know, but there's still going to be something which you learn from. It's just not good. And sometimes, look, even if it's just a joke, just a joke, like there's nothing to learn from this joke. 
Even that is good. Even that is good. Why? Because who am I addressing? On social media, you've got from the 70, 80 year olds all the way down to your 10 year olds. Right now, of course, there's going to be a bell curve here. So most of the followers that are following me are going to be from the, you know, the, the, the people who have who reached the 30s, 20s, 30s, 40s. These are the most people who will be following, following me. But there's also going to be teenagers. I know there are teenagers that are following me. And, there, and, and there's also people who are in the 50s and 60s that are following me. Now, whenever I will talk pure religion and pure Quran, so something very serious, you know, that hits the 50s and 60s, 40s, 50s, 60s, they're going to be like, wow, yeah, well said, you know, Sheikh, you know, that's really good. You know, that's what we need, right? Whenever I give something that, that, that is the kind of, you know, social, in between, something that might be educational, something that might be of Hadith, Quran, Sunnah, but not too serious, you know, the 20-year-olds, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, they're going to, be, they're going to say spot on. The, the 50s and 60s will, will think, think that, ah, that's good, but it needs to be more serious, right? But whenever I might share a joke, a pure joke or something, the, the teenagers out there that are also our ummah, they are brothers and sisters. Yes, they're kind of all day on this social media watching this stuff and that stuff. I don't know what else they're getting into, pranks and whatnot and wasting the time. I know it's all going on, but it's life, my friend. This is the 21st century. You know, this is where we are. You know, when I was in the, in the madrasa, you know how strict of a life we had. I had all sorts of teachers. I had teachers that were very, you know, strict. Never saw them smile ever, right? I had also teachers who would now and again crack a joke. Now and again, get a little bit, you know, easy with you. Now and again. And I also had teachers that, mashallah, you know, they blend in with you. They're with you. And then they also teach you serious stuff. The third type, those are women, my type, okay? Now, look, everyone has their types. I know some of you would love the serious, and you love the serious shakes. They've never smiled or joked or whatever. Or maybe they've never joked. Maybe they smiled, but never joked. Right, and you probably love them for who they are. That's look, that's your. Look, everyone has a character that blends in with another character, right? So um, my character is such that look, I'm going to be serious, that I'm going to be jokey as well. Whoever knows me closely knows me like this. Like I have my serious moments, and I also have my jokey moments. That's my character. Look, my my father, rahimullah, though he was a very strict individual, he was a very funny individual. Everyone said this. He never joked in the house, but he would joke outside with with his friends with other people but never in the house he was very serious in the house. he would joke with my mother yes but not never with us right but we knew that he had this really jokey side to him my mother also was a very jokey type of person now look there were years in my life when i was in madrasa you know i cut out all of these you know jokes and whatever and even after madrasa when i became imam and so on but you know what that wasn't my true character my true character is that i want to be serious but at the same time, I have a you know twenty percent of a jokey kind of you know part to me that I like to bring that out to relate to people to bring closer to me. You know those teenagers that I just said right when you share a joke or something and so on. These teenagers and also people in their twenties as well. They kind of think you know whoa that's really good. You know he understands our side. He understands us. You know he understands our world. Right. He makes us laugh. And at the same time, then then when you give the serious message later, they'll sit there and they listen to your serious message. That's, that's the, that's the day and age we're living in. Look, I don't, you know, some of you might be sitting in the middle of Pakistan. Some of you sitting in the middle of, I don't know, the Russian side. I don't know. Some of you are probably even in the West. All right. And you, you like, you know, when it's religion, it has to be very serious. You know, you shouldn't joke. You shouldn't do that. Look, if, if you really want, there, there's loads of those scholars out there. Just follow them, man. But if you're coming to my site, or if you're coming to, uh, listen to me, then you're going to hear serious stuff and you're going to hear the joke stuff. Now, when you hear the joke stuff, if you don't like it, switch off. Don't listen to those jokes. You know, usually I, I you know, you'll see those emojis of ha 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 before I, you know, when I send the message. When you see that, just don't, you know, don't look at it because there's going to be a joke there and I'm not into jokes. I don't want to, I don't want to joke with a sheikh and so on. I don't want to listen to, to, a, to, a, to a joke from a sheikh. Okay, fine. But let others enjoy it. Let others, you know, enjoy. And it's not going to be like, it's going to be all jokes and jokes and jokes. No, there's going to be a very serious side to, to life. And there is a serious side, side to life. So there's going to be a lot of religious stuff said as well, as well as some humor. Now, that's the, that's my balance. Now, please, uh, you know, this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be. And and if you like it, Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah Khair, you know, let's continue to benefit one another. If you don't, what can I say? Enjoy your day. Assalamu alaikum.